If you just clicked on this video, then you probably just clicked on the priceless video you wouldn't find in any other place. So make sure to stay tuned. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use ChatGPT to create children's book. Not just ChatGPT, but all those sites you can actually use to make creation of children's book real easy for you. So without talking too much, if you're new to my YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe as I do upload lovely content as you're about to watch in today's video. And do not forget to also give this video a thumbs up. So without wasting much more time, let's hop into the main tutorial. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is to ensure sure you have those four sites opened already the first one is your amazon kdp account as you can see i have mine opened already the second one is your book boat account okay if you don't have a book boat account all you need to do is to go to bookboat.com register create an account you can go for the free trial version and add your card details and later on you can just cancel the subscription okay as you can see right now i'm using my free trial and then the third site you want to ensure you're opened over here is the chat gpt site the chat that's open ai.com as you can see on my screen right now and the final one is freepick.com you want to go to free pick.com okay so once you have those four sites open the first thing you want to do is to come to chat gpt like i said i'm going to be teaching you guys how to use chat gpt to create a children's book basically a storybook in today's video okay so i'm going to say chat okay i'm going to refresh this okay to ensure chat gpt works perfectly okay so you want to ensure ChatGPT is refreshed, as I'm doing right now on my screen. So verifying, verifying you a human. Okay, no problem. Now, new chat, good. So you want to ask ChatGPT, give me a children's story book. Okay, give me a children's story. Okay, tell me a children's story. Good. Once upon a time in a small village nested in the lush green valley. As you can see guys, this is real time. I'm showing you ChatGPT is giving me the book ideas, the book wordings without me even thinking too much. Okay, so we're just going to wait for ChatGPT. And the funniest thing is ChatGPT would also give you a title most of the time. They're going to give you the title for the book. You can use the best title. So you don't need to think of what title can I give this book. Okay, I'm just going to ask, give me another children book or children's story with a title with a title at times chat gpt might give you a title at times it might know as you can see over here i asked directly that's why it gave me a title sometimes you don't need to ask sometimes it just comes out over here at the left side of the new chat but as you can see right now i asked for another story i have the enchanted garden so basically we're just gonna pick one i'm doing this real time for you guys as you can see it's not planned or anything i'm doing this as i'm creating this video i'm actually creating a new book so basically let's look at the one we can actually you know use for children's book so you want to consider some things number one you want to consider what the book the story is about you want to see if you can easily get pictures or you know images illustrations based on this book so let's look at this real quick once upon a time in a small village so what you want to do right now is to copy this okay so i'm going to copy this so basically this is all my book is going to contain okay you know it's a children's book you don't want it to be too long maximum 25 pages that's even too much but basically let's see how many pages this is going to give us so Control c and then you want to open your notepad okay you just want to paste it over there just to ensure it's safe somewhere so Control v okay so Control s i'm saving this right now i can just say children book good okay so we can just drag this down below so now the next thing you want to do right now is to come to book boat and then you want to click on create as you can see and then book boat studio now once you enter book boat studio you want to click on create project okay you want to ensure your paperback is in cover and interior and then your project name so i'm just going to give this name the name of the book chat gpt already gave us which is the enchanted garden okay real quick and then your trim size you can use six times nine but you know when it comes to children's book it's usually better to pick something larger it can be an horizontal book it can be a vertical so for this video i'm going to go for a portrait okay which is going to be 8.5 times 11. it depends on you you can also go for the opposite 11 times 8.5 
that means you need to go to customize and then you input that but for today's tutorial i'm going to be going for 8.5 times 11 okay and then you want to ensure this is 24 is actually the limit so we're just going to leave it as 24 pages so create project so yeah we're done with the first part getting the story from chat gpt we're done with chat gpt now we can actually close chat gpt if we want i'm just going to leave it in case of any other thing okay and then now as you can see we've opened we've created our book structure okay now the next thing we want to do right now is to start imputing things for the book we already have the story now we need to start imputing the illustrations although if you want to go meet you know hire some illustrators you can go to five of the rest but i don't think we want to do that we want to do things freely and then get our money you know okay so basically all you want to do over here this is where you need the free pick now you want to come to free pick over here basically we're talking about a children's storybook and one thing you need to know is you need to read the story so i'm just going to read the story real quick okay. as you can see very important very very important you need the jotter okay you need to write things down so we're gonna need a garden background okay a garden background and then okay so the next thing you want to do is to come to free pick and then you want to search for the background you need so i'm gonna say cartoon background okay cartoon background let's see okay as you can see i have so many backgrounds over here but well, basically my story is about a garden so i need to look for something more specific like a garden okay so i think i'm gonna go for this one this particular one over here so i'm gonna download this okay real quick so you want to come over here to free download and then you want to specify jpg okay as you can see it's gonna download and then immediately it's done downloading you want to come back to book boat studio over here and then you want to come here to upload so file library upload image okay and then you want to select that particular one now the next thing i want to do over here is to enlarge this okay just gonna enlarge this then i can just crop it out like i said to so crop so i'm just gonna cut this out perfect this is perfect guys and then you want to click on it again and then just want to expand this good so you want to ensure this is okay if you haven't watched my previous video you can go and check that out so you can understand all i'm doing properly okay so i'm just going to leave it this way so the side over here at the right is going to be the front page and the side at the left is going to be the back page so the next thing i want to do right now is to impute the element okay so i'm just going to come over here again to file library and then i'm going to search in pixabay for a girl a cartoon girl okay cartoon girl enter okay so i'm just gonna go for this particular one it looks okay so you're just gonna click on it and then it appears on the cover as you can see so i'm just gonna reduce this like reduce it okay the next thing you want to do is to upload at least a few other elements so basically what we're gonna do is to reduce this we want to assume it is way behind that we get okay so you're just gonna zoom it it's way behind it we're just gonna put it over here okay so it's gonna be behind this image okay so it's gonna be behind the image okay i think this is okay i think this is okay for the front cover let's just add the text now so you just want to click on t over here and then adding the title is the enchanted garden okay so you just want to close this come to edit text and then the enchanted garden the enchanted garden good so now the next thing we want to do right now is the back page as well so we're just going to control c and control v and then drag this over here so you just want to put a brief description about the book okay so i'm just going to make another text control c control v drag this down and then edit text you can just say about alter okay so about about alter good okay i think this is just okay guys you guys can tell me in the comment down below what you think about this cover okay so now moving on to the page one okay so you just want to click on page one over here so basically we already have a story now we just want to input pictures more of pictures and then less of writing okay so we're basically not going to be using the entire thing chat gpt gave us we're just going to be copying out some shot 
text okay like this one control c this is gonna be for the first page and then you want to come back over here text heading try to click adding don't go with text with variants okay and then you just want to click this control v and then it did oh you don't need to edit just enter over here you can come over here to reduce the font quickly as you can see i'm doing that live for you guys you can come over here reduce this okay to make things easier for you i can extend this mm, now nah. i'm basically gonna put this at the center perfect once upon a time in a in a land far far away there was a beautiful enchanted garden full stop so basically i'm going to look for another background guys so basically i'm going to keep on doing this okay in summary i'm going to keep on doing this this particular one is going to be for the text and then a background behind it the next page is going to be her seeing the animals the third page again a text like that like that in summary okay so basically i'm going to show you guys i'm going to skip this video to where i actually i where i'm actually done with it okay so uh real quick let's finish the video um the book Real quick, let's end the book real quick so we can upload in KDP. Okay, so just gonna reduce this. And good. And then we'll change this as well. Perfect. Okay. So basically done with the book. Control S. Control S guys. So this is the book. As you can see, we did this all with the use of book bolt, chat GPT, especially. As you can see, this is basically where we kept on copying and then summarizing. Okay, and then with free peak where you can get free pictures you can use. So this is the cover. As you can see, this is the cover over here. It's loading. This is the front page, this is the back page. And then we have the remaining pages to the final page so basically we're just gonna click on download because we're actually done already and then you want to download current project rgb okay so as you can see you just want to click on download and you wait for it to be done so now the next thing we're going to do over here while this is actually downloading we're going to come over here to kdp account and then click on create okay we're going to click on create and then the next thing you want to do is to come to paperback create paperback okay so now we're going to adjust all this we're going to fill in all the informations the book title is the enchanted garden description of the book okay so okay so we can just delete this so we're good with that and then i own the copyright and then your keywords this is basically a children's book so you're going to impute things people are actually searching for so I'm gonna say um children's book children's storybook children's storybooks children's children's this is an additional bonus okay so let's ask chat gpt um keywords for children's book let's see yeah a few keywords yeah 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 i trust you adventure magic friendship imagination animals so we're going to see adventure books as well okay and adventure okay so categories this is basically a fiction book it's not real so i'm going to go for general then um what else should we go for let's go for um literary collections no let's go for comics and novels oh no 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 let's go for education general and then save okay good this doesn't contain anything for other definitely no and then you want to save and continue okay guys if you're still watching this video and you still haven't subscribed use this opportunity to subscribe and also drop a like on the video because i'm sure you're learning a lot from this video so basically you want to click on your publication date which is basically the date you're publishing this as uh, for me it is today on the second of the new year and then you want to change this very important select a different size you want to pick the size you use okay as for me i picked the 8.5 times 11 as you can see over here so i'm going to click on this and then bleed 
and then I can come over here to upload paperback manuscript. But before I do that, we need to extract the file from this downloaded file, okay? From BookBoat. So this is going to be our manuscript, the interior over here. So I'm going to extract it to the specified folder, the desktop. I'm going to use desktop. And then I'm also going to extract the cover page to the desktop, okay? So okay so we're good to go now we can come back over here upload paperback manuscript then you want to come to desktop so i'm going to look for the enchanted garden as you can see this is the cover and this is the interior so open you can keep on asking chat gpt if you want the story to even be shorter you can specify you can tell chat gpt please make this a shorter story okay so now i'm going to upload our cover click on this and then upload your cover file. So I'm basically gonna upload the cover, paperback cover over here and then open, okay? So this is uploading as well. So you just wanna preview, okay, I totally forgot. Guys, you need to assign a KDP ISBN for yourself. So assign, just wanna click on this. So Amazon is gonna assign one for you. In addition, please wanna ensure you're picking the premium color, okay? Cause it's a storybook. If you wanna go for standard color, definitely your pages need to be a minimum of 72. And you know our page is not a minimum of that. So basically you wanna go for premium color, okay? And then you wanna click on launch previewer, okay? So let's wait for this to be done. And then we'll go to go to publish. So launch previewer. So guys, I think I can actually remove all this right now. Okay, we can reduce, we can remove this as well. Um, okay, let's just wait for this to be done. Okay, guys, as you can see, this is how the book is gonna look like. Okay, so that was the front page. As you can see, once upon a time in a land far, far, far away, it was beautiful, blah, blah, blah. Okay, as you can see guys, the garden was home to all kinds of magical creations. As you can see guys, so basically what you want to do right now is to click on approve. Okay, you want to click on approve. No issue selected. As you can see, there was no issue and uh, you know, the book. So the next thing you want to do right now is the pricing. As you can see, it's higher because I'm actually using premium color. It's usually higher than white and black. Okay, so um, Amazon is going to deduct from any amount I make with a sum of 3.65 because I'm actually using a premium color, okay? So the next thing now is just to add the pricing. So basically, I'm gonna make it higher, okay? Cost of the deduction. So basically, I'm gonna make this uh, 6.99. I don't really need to make it a lot, okay? And then what you wanna do now is to click on publish your paperback and that that's actually all about it, guys. That brings us to the end of today's video so once you click on this you're basically done as you can see the enchanted garden by my name you can see the front page guys so this is basically how you can actually create a children's book with the use of those four major sites i showed you guys from the start of the video so if you surely enjoyed this video and learned a lot make sure to subscribe if you still haven't and i will see you guys in my next video